So this is interesting that you want into this debate. I would love to see you in this debate personally, but they're doing their level best to keep you out. Both Trump, Biden have said, the terms are the terms. It's a two-man debate, that's it. And so what can the FEC do? You want them to, to bar CNN from holding it if they don't let you in? Well, the FEC rules say that um, any that they that the that candidates can't collude, particularly with a network, to exclude other candidates. Otherwise, it becomes an illegal campaign contribution. So, um, what we know from the accounts, both from our conversations with CNN and also from the accounts in the Washington Post and other press outlets, was that and and. Just to back up for a second, what the FEC rules require is that the uh, that the the rules for the debate be pre-existing. In other words, the the candidates have no input in them, and also that they be objective. So they can't be designed to exclude somebody. But in the conversations that were reported by the Washington Post between the Biden administration, between the Biden White House, uh, President. Trump staff and CNN at President Biden's staff was adamant that the rules needed to be designed to keep me off the platform. They said, if if he's going to be on, we're not going to be on. He has to be off. President Biden said the same thing. Now, when we asked CNN, did you, after hearing that, did you then create the rules? And CNN said that's privileged, which of course it's not privileged. No, it's not privileged. Right, (laughs) it's the opposite of privilege. It should be very transparent and, you know, and available to the public. So, you know, if you do collude with them, it becomes, as I said, an illegal campaign contribution. And, um, you know, and we're, we filed a complaint with the FEC to uh, address that. Um, and to, you know, and to, and to make rules that allow me into the debate. The other thing is, Megan, at the rules that they came up with is ironic. There's two rules that are designed to exclude other candidates. One of those rules is that the, each candidate has to have polls from four, four separate firms that are, are on a list of poll, 12 polling firms. At an approved list of 12 polling firms, that four of those polls need to show me at 15% or more of the public. And I think CNN assumed that I did not have the polls, but we submitted five polls, including their own poll from last month, which shows me at 16%. And the other polls are all from the list. And since then, yet another poll has come out from that list that has me at 15%. The, the final rule that they, that they use to try to exclude me is a rule that says that you have to be on the ballot in enough states to get 270 electoral votes by June 20th. So we are now, we have enough signature, we're on the ballot in seven states. We have enough signatures now as of today for 17 states By June 20th, we will have enough signatures for 343 electoral votes. Today, we have, I think, 225. Um, But ironically, we are the only one who's on a ballot anywhere because President Trump and President Biden are not on any ballots anywhere. They are, you know, people presume they're going to be the nominees for the Democratic Republican Party, but that is not locked in yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm the only one who will qualify for that uh, for that requirement. And so CNN is kind of in a jam. And, you know, we think that if FEC acts, that we will win this. They don't want you. ABC doesn't want you. Trump and Biden don't want you. And right now, given the bypassing of the Commission on Presidential Debates, they're calling the shots. So this will be interesting to watch unfold. Um, I think you'd be a great addition up there. I think it'd be fascinating to watch them respond to you. And um, some of your issues, which are important, that's why you're polling well with a certain segment of the population. As we draw near another critical election, it's not just about casting your vote, it's about elevating your voice. 
I want to tell you about the Association of Mature American Citizens, or AMAC. That's more than just a senior discount organization. They unite like-minded patriots committed to preserving our cherished values and actively opposing the leftist agenda. As AMAC's membership grows, Washington listens. Every new member strengthens this movement. If you love America, check out amac.us slash Megan and consider becoming a four-year member for just 30 bucks. AMAC membership gives you access to the AMAC magazine, free Social Security and Medicare guidance, money-saving discounts, trusted news, sweepstakes, and more. Take advantage of their election year sale, four years for just 30 bucks. By joining the over 2 million members, get your voice heard. Join now at amac.us slash Megan. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S forward slash M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.